Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. If this is your first time or you are returning, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very, very much to me. I have actually four months of Ipsy Ultimate right now. If you don't know what's going on with my life, I will put a link up here so you can kind of see everything that's been going on and why I had everything sent to my parents' house starting in July. But I'm gonna get right into it. Um, don't forget to comment, let me know your thoughts on these subs. We're gonna start with October and work our way backwards. So this is this month's bag and it says you are magic. But I got this set of two sheet masks. It is the Apri C, which is supposed to be a repairing cooling mask and the Face the Day Soothing Restoring Mask. They're by Timeless Beauty Bar. $3 for the two of them. I didn't think that was too bad. I got a backup well, I've used them up, all up, but I love this Hey Honey Good Morning Serum. This is a really good uh, daytime or evening serum. Um, I really do like this one. I really like everything that I've gotten from Hey Honey. This is a little different than um, the packaging has changed just slightly. I think this one was $12. I usually don't get the $18 ones because those are too expensive. I got an add-on brush but it was a really pretty brush and i thought you know what i'm going to get it just because i love brushes and then i got the yensa tone up primer i love this primer this is one of my favorite primers actually and to get a backup of it i haven't really seen yensa at any stores if you know of any stores that carry it please do let me know and then finally i got two of these hand creams by la Ch chatelaine and I got cinnamon orange and I got rose blossom. The actual box, this is what everything looks like in there. I did not get a card in October, so I did write down everything so that I know how much everything is. We're gonna start with the eye cream that I got, which is from Air Repair. I have so many eye creams. I don't really need this right now, but um, eye cream is something that I use, or if I don't use it, I pass it along to my mom because she is an eye cream fiend. She's always like, I don't have an eye cream. Where's my eye cream? So $24.50 for this one. And then I got the Glow Recipe Toner. I think this was actually my choice item. This might have been my choice item. This is only a $15 item though because it's pretty darn small. I didn't realize that it was only like a little over an ounce, but it is a glass jar, so that's nice. And I've liked most of the stuff I've tried from Glow, Glow Recipe. I don't love everything, but I can kind of smell the watermelon in there, but it is it does have a seal on the top, so I'm gonna leave the, it in the package till I actually get around to using it, because I'm really bad about using toner. So that probably wasn't the best item to get. Then we have a scrub. No, this was actually what I chose. Never mind. This is what I chose. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I really like this stuff. I like the black a little bit better, but uh, this is normally $58 and I was out of face scrubs. I used up all of my face scrubs this year. I'm so proud of myself. Now I have to get other ones because I used them all up. All right. Next up is the Huda Beauty. This is the Emerald Obsessions palette. You probably have already seen this. This is going to be going in my pass along giveaway sell. I haven't decided what to do with all my stuff. I have some massive declutters that you can watch. I'll put the, the first one that's already up. I do already have this palette. I love Huda Beauty palettes. So if it was one that I didn't have, I'd be really excited. But I have almost all of her palettes now. That retails for $27. This next one is from Naked Cosmetics. This is a quad of loose pigments. And this is something that they actually sent me in my plus last year, last summer. And I called them on it because other people, they realized it and they said, oh, we're so sorry, we're giving you points. And I was like, hey, why didn't you, why did you send me the same exact thing? And they're like, well, sometimes it's things that we think you'll love or things that you rated really highly. I did not rate loose powder pigments highly, I can tell you that. All right, next up, oh, that retails for $39.99, ridiculous. All right, next up is the CBD Superfood Dual Cleansing Oil. This is another thing that I will be passing along because uh, 
I realized I have a terrible allergy to hemp and I don't want to try anything with hemp or CBD anymore after having such a terrible breakout with that. So that is the Yensa, which is a great brand. Up is Ofra. This is a blush in the shade Bellini and this is gorgeous. I actually already own this blush. I'm going to leave it all nice so that I can pass this one along or sell it. It retails for $29. This is like one of my favorite blushes actually. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Highly recommend it if you are looking for a new blush. All right, last thing that is full size in here are the nail polishes from Fluid, these are $30. That cleansing oil was $38, I forgot to say that. These retail for 30 for the two of them. So you get this beautiful kind of bronzy color and I do like this one. I don't, I have not painted my nails like more than once this year though. So I'm going to be passing this one on, once along. This is Dapper and this one is Bonsoir. And um, it's like a very black, maybe a brown. It's really hard to tell, but that one, not a color I would use anyway. The four sample sizes I got this month are from Barefoot Venus, the Vanilla Effect Instant Hand Repair, which I am very excited about because I need hand cream. I actually am tempted to put it on right now. Then Catherine Maladrino, this is Romance de Provence. I do already have a sample like a purse spray of it and I do have this in a full size and I have a lotion of it because I bought a set at Macy's for $25 last year or the year before. So that one is now on the floor, but there, there's that one. Then I have from the Balm, this is the Wheel Power. This is supposed to be a blush in Worth the Weight. Um, that does not look like a blush to me. That looks like a highlighter. Uh, oh, you can push the pan out. So that's good. Maybe I could put this in a magnetic palette. I will try that. I am going to swatch this one. You're not going to get a lot of swatches from me in this video just because there's no time. That's really pretty and it blends in really beautifully with my skin. You can't, it just gives a nice glow. And then the last thing is from Kiss and Smink and this is supposed to be a lip um, crayon and that is not a color that I really gravitate towards. I don't like brownie shades. So that one will be passed along as well. So for the $50, do I think it's worth it for me personally this month? No, because this will be passed along. The nail polishes will be passed along. These are items I already have. The CBD cleansing oil I can't use. So right there, that's half basically. It's exactly half with this one too. Um, because that means that I'm left with, oh, and this one I'm passing along. So it's a little over half. I actually am not getting the November ultimate box because of this. Um, cause it just didn't seem worth it for me. This month's box retail, the total was two sixty one forty nine without the samples. So it was a good value. It's just not a good value for me for what I already have. Next up the September box. And this one actually <clears throat> did come with a booklet. This is the only booklet I have of the lot. So this is what the September bag looks like. I thought it was going to be really cute, but it actually feels a little cheap. Like when you have corduroy, um, like the corduroy from the nineties and it would start to like not be as soft as it was after you've watched, washed it a few times. That's what this bag feels like. So that was a little disappointing, but say la vie. All right, first thing in here are a set of three sheet masks from Hello Organic. You have the water mask, the grain mask, and the fruit mask. And yes, I have already used these two. They'll be in my Masktober video, which is coming up tomorrow. So make sure you're, you watch that one as well. The coconut one I was a little worried about because I do tend to break out with coconut just because of my oily skin type. Those retail for $7.50, by the way. Then we have this set from Nature Lab Tokyo. And I do have these in full size, but these are kind of cool. So you have a full size, not a full size. They're called a full size. This is a $9 set. But you have a nice size shampoo and conditioner. They're two and a half ounces each 
which is really good. And then you have the mask, which you have to leave on for three to five minutes. So this one will be something that I am passing along just because that's not, I, I don't do well with trying to keep a mask on in the shower. From Gold Fadden, this is the Brightening Elixir. It is a serum and this retails for $80, which is kind of crazy. And especially cause it's so small. I did not like, look at the size of the box versus the size of the item. It's only a one ounce. Wow. That's really deceptive packaging. Anyway, I love serums. I will always take a serum, but $80 seems like quite a bit for that one. Then we have from touch and soul. This is the no problem priming water. I have had the priming essence. I've had the, their regular primer. And so this will be interesting to try. I've gone through a couple of the priming essence or I've been using them. So we'll try this one. We'll see how it works. I'm not mad about that, but it's not like the thing I would like the most. That retails for $23. Then we have up next is from Royal and Langnickel. This is a blush brush, which is kind of a small blush brush. I'm usually used to having a slightly bigger brush, but that seems pretty nice. This retails for $19.99. This is almost <clears throat> synthetic feeling, like almost rubbery, but not quite. It still feels like a nice plastic, but I mean, I will always take brushes. From La Muse, it is a deep color lip balm in the shade Cherry. This is supposed to retail for $28. I mean, yes, it is a pretty big lip balm, but I would never pay $28 for a lip balm. It does have a pretty dark color, so it is something that you would have to be willing to have a nice dark shade on. I mean, I'm gonna use it eventually, but that's not something I would definitely choose. It's, it's just okay. All right, from Kaja, I've been wanting to try some of the Kaja stuff. This is the Bento Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. I'm so excited about this one. Um, I didn't realize how tiny it was though. This is what it looks like. You have three shades. It's really tiny. Like this is like the size of a quarter, the pan. Um, I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, but I was. And that's what that shade looks like. Those look really pretty. They felt really soft as well. So that's always a good sign. But those look really nice. This retails for $21. I don't know why I would pay $21 for this just because it's so small and you don't get a lot of shades, but it's not bad. All right, next up is a duo of eyeliner pencils from Pixie by Petra. You get black caviar and bronze beam. These retail for $24. I don't even know if you can tell the difference in shade on camera. I can't really see the difference just looking at them. I never wear eyeliner. I have like 30 eyeliners I need to use and wear up. Wear and use up. There we go. Um, so those are going to be passing along. Those are supposed to retail for $24. It seems a little high, but that's fine. Then we have from Zoeva. This is the Caramel Melang. Melange? Melange? I don't know. Anyway, I this is like my second Zoeva palette. I got one in BoxyCharm. I have not used it though. That's what it looks like. It is beautiful packaging. I really like the gold pattern on it. This looks like a really wearable, useful palette. There's a couple shimmers in there and just some really nice neutral -y shades. That was a weird swatch, but they swatch pretty well, actually. They feel really nice and soft, which is always a good thing for eyeshadows. So I need to, this is like something that I actually need to use and wear. Um, I need to get back into my four for fours, but I had so many of them that I had done that I had backed up. So you're getting all of those reviews. Maybe you'll get them through the end of the year. We'll see. That retails for $28. And then my last three things don't have prices on them, so I'm not really sure what the fourth sample was supposed to be because everything else had a price, so I have no idea. Anyway, we have Kenzie Life Beat Lotion. This is a lovely set. I will definitely use it because I love Kenzie, the perfume. Then we have Georgette Klinger. It is a collagen and elastin mask for combination dry and sensitive skin. 
it's since 1941. I haven't heard of this brand, but it's been around for a while. Definitely will use that eventually because I am backed up on masks <laughs> right now. I have a lot of them. And then the last thing in here is this is a blush from Doche or Duche. Anyway, this one is called Zen Orange by Duche, and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open it because I, it's not something that I would actually ever use or wear. So what's the point in keeping it? So do I think this month was worth it? I actually do because I see a lot of things that I will use. It didn't have the highest value. It was two hundred and forty dollars and forty nine cents. But I'm only getting rid of four things and one's only a partial, like this is a third of the set, this is the sample, and so there's only like one full size. I think that's pretty good, especially for me because usually there's a lot more that I'm gonna be passing Moving along. on to August, I'm trying to go through these as fast as possible because I know there's just a lot of stuff. So this is what this box looks like. The bag is really kind of pretty. It's weird though because it feels like if it gets crinkled, it makes it makes it look a little weird. So it's a nice enough bag. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it either. With the most expensive item, this is from 111 Skin. This is the Cairo ATP Sports Booster. I actually think I might have this one. Uh, yeah, I feel like I already have this, but that's okay. This retails for $135, which is just ridiculous. Like that's a lot of money for a serum. And I don't really, 111 Skin hasn't had the best track record in my opinion. I haven't found like that they work super well. The second item I'm pulling out is from Complex Culture. This is a plush powder brush. I have a couple brushes from Complex Culture and they seem to be pretty good. I don't save these. Do you guys save them? Let me know like what you do with them. This is what it looks like. It is a huge fluffy brush. I could see this working for like bronzer. I could see this looking working for setting powder. It's probably a little big for blush, but that's really nice and soft. Uh, this one is the most exciting so far of all of the brushes that I've gotten from them. And that retails for $35, which seems like a crazy amount of money. Then we have this vitamin E balm from Feel. I I guess it's for lips and skin. So definitely will use this. I get like, I already am getting winter hands. So this might be good to put on at night to give a little extra boost of moisture. It does kind of smell like vitamin E. If you've ever like had a vitamin E capsule that you've broken to put on the skin to heal, I've done that in the past. Uh, that retails for $24. So that's actually quite a bit of money too. Then we have this super silver haze purifying face mask with uh, canna bio oiled. I, I can't pronounce that. Anyway, it feels like it's only half full. Like it doesn't feel like there's a ton of stuff in here. It's pretty scrunched up. It's skincare by Makeup Drop. This is definitely something I will be passing along because of my aforementioned CBD uh, allergy, definitely a hemp allergy, pretty sure. CBD would cause the same thing. Don't want to try it. Um, this retails for $65, which is a ridiculous amount of money for a very small mask. This is, it doesn't even say how big it is, but I, uh, this does not look like a $65 mask to me. Like if I'm going to pay $65, I'm going to get something from like Peter Thomas Roth or Murad, something that's really going to work well. Then we have this palette from Nomad. This retails for $42. This is the Berlin Underground. This is it's a special edition for Ipsy, so they don't want you to sell it, which is fine. That's what the package looks like. It looks like the box. And then inside, oh, you have all these little um, skulls, like with uh, not mullets, mohawks. There we go. I'm going to swatch a couple. We're going to do this yellow because that looks really pretty. We'll do like this grayish blue. Maybe one of the greens. This would have been a really fun palette to play with today, actually. I was trying to get something a little bit crazier. Ooh, that looks really nice. I'm excited to play with this more. This looks like a very good palette. All right, next is from Peyote 
Paris. I think it's payout. This is a plumping moisture cream. This retails for $48, which is quite a bit, but I love moisturizers. I always use moisturizers up. It doesn't matter like if I end up liking them on my face, I always use them on my neck and chest. So I will take that. I love the packaging. It's really cool. It's like an hourglass shape. I haven't seen anything like that before. It does have a nice safety seal on it. So I will leave that for another time because I have lots of moisturizers I'm already trying to work through. Did I say that retails for 48? It does. So that's another good one. Next up is from Real Her. This is an eyeliner in black. I'm pretty sure it's in black. This retails for $16. You know, I'm not even going to try to open it because I know I'm not going to use it. It's an eyeliner and I, it's a pencil eyeliner. Like that's not even a great type of an eyeliner. So that one's not going to be used either. Then we have from soap equals hope soap box. This is a, what is it? It's a leave in a hair mist, coconut milk hair mist with vitamin E. So definitely something else I'll use. This retails for $12.99. I just like sorted through all of my hair products. I have a lot of them, but like it's stuff that I will actually go through and use up. From Juliet Has a Gun, this is Vanilla Vibes. This is one of my favorite perfumes. This smells so, so good. Uh, this is a great size for my purse. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is a nice, sweet, salty vanilla like there's a lot of salt in it i really like this one so super excited why am i putting it back in the box super excited about this one definitely something that i will use and enjoy from koki cosmetics we have fix it up mini matte setting spray uh which is great like i hate when they send me the the shimmery ones or the glowy ones and i'm like i am super oily i do not want a glowy setting spray so that's exciting i will always take a setting spray then we have from hemp's this is the triple moisture herbal whipped body cream and i don't know what scent this is supposed to be in it smells delicious whatever it is i loved the lotions and the shampoo and conditioner until i started breaking out like crazy everywhere that it touched so that one is being passed along because I don't want to deal with any more allergic reactions. It was unfortunately hemp products that caused it. And then finally is the Gentle Derm Cleansing Gel Foam, which I will always take another cleanser. I love cleansers. It's just a good staple. So this month, the total retail was $377.99, which is insane. I think some of these things are valued way higher than they're actually worth or what their performance is worth, I should say. I do think it was worth it because I am passing on only a couple things. And I mean, this is an allergy problem, so that's not a bad thing. This is what gets me. This and the Pixie Eyeliners, because I had opted out of eyeliners and mascara and they keep sending me them and they said oh well it just means that you're going to get them less often well so far i've gotten how many in these four boxes and i still have one to go all right last box this is the july box this is what it looks like i can't believe that it's taken me this long to get it it's basically november i mean you're going to see this on november 1st i'm filming it the day before this is what the bag looks like. It's super cute. It is like super 80s, early 90s vibes, Saved by the Bell, Bell vibes to me. Um, that show is amazing, by the way. I, did, was, I didn't watch it when it first aired, but watching reruns, oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, I'm so excited for the revamp. Uh, I've already posted about it. So let me know your thoughts on that one. All right, first thing in here is from Beauty For Real. This retails for $38. They're like eyeshadow sticks. I'm pretty sure looking at what it said on my Ipsy page. Once again, no, uh, yeah, shadow sticks, 24 seven shadow. Um, I wish they would include flyers that actually say something. I just, I threw them out when they, when I saw they had nothing on them. So $38, those are something I'm definitely going to pass along because that's not something that I'm going to use or something I would like. Then we have from Pure Lease, this is the Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. This is okay. I'm not a big fan of cleansing milks. 
Um, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm not sure how much I will actually like it or if it will end up being something that I pass along to a friend here. Um, but that retails for 30, $36. That's ridiculous for a cleanser. Like I don't pay that much for cleansers. Like that's too much. All right, Awake Glow Pill Super Serum. This is a sister brand to Tarte, and I've really liked what I've tried from them. So I was really excited. This is what I did choose. Um, yeah, really excited about that. I love serums. I love skincare, and their other skincare is really good. Their other serum, I, I really, really like it. That retails for $39. All right, next we have this guy. This is an Ofra highlighter. This is in the shade Glaze Donut. I'm gonna open it so you can see. I'm not gonna swatch it because I already own this highlighter. Um, and I don't need a backup of it because it's really glowy. It's beautiful. I think this might've been one of the ones, yeah, it is one of the ones that Nikki Tutorials did with Ofra and it's gorgeous, but I already have it, so I don't need an extra one of it. That retails for $30. They're really expensive, that's for sure. Then we have this scrub. This is one of the samples. This is the scent French Vanilla. I use these, they're fine. Um, they're not like the best scrubs ever. I didn't hate them as much as other people hate them though, so there's that. From Ciate London, this is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I'm really excited to try this one. Oh my gosh, it looks like it has, it looks like watermelon. It has like little seeds in it. Um, I wish I could smell it, but I don't need primer right now. I'm not gonna waste it. So excited about this. This retails for $28. Yeah, that's something I will definitely use. I have so many primers, but there's something that I actually use and I, I'm always going to use, you know? All right, from Foxy Bay, this is the Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask. Leave on for three to five minutes, then rinse. Um, damp or towel dried hair. Wow, I'm not going to use those. I just, I'm not a hair mask person. I wish I was, but I'm just not. They just annoy me and I'm never going to get around to using those. That retails for $28.95. They are individual packets in here. I did like sneak a peek at what they were because it was a weird thing. Uh, so you do get eight of them in there. So eight uses. That's not too bad. All right. From Il Maquillage, this is a brow pen. I don't do brows, so this will be passed along as well. This is in the shade Truffles. I don't know if there's going to show. Oh, it's probably about that shade. That seems really grayish, but like a gray tone brown. But this retails for $22. That seems like a lot for, I don't know. I don't do brow stuff, so maybe it is, maybe it isn't. My other samples this month are the True, True Cream Moisturizing Balm from Belief. Um, I know I don't like one of these and I can't remember which one it is. So I'm going to use it. We're going to, you know, try it again. Then we have green tea eye gel patches from J. June. It looks like we get, Ooh, we get three of them. That's pretty good. So I'll be excited to try those. Those are also counted as a sample. So I have no idea how much they are. Then we have from Catherine Maladrino. This is Special Moments. I don't think I have this one. Um, I know I have several of the Catherine Maladrinos. This, let's see. It smells very fruity, like a tropical fruity, but I'm also getting a lot of alcohol, so I need to like actually wear it to see what it does. And then my last item in here is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. The packaging on this is gorgeous. I love, like, this just, oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Um... We're gonna keep the plastic on. This is not really, this isn't calling my name, like the shades. Uh, so I think I'm gonna actually pass this one along. It does look like it has two blushes and six eyeshadows. Yeah, just not any colors that are really 
that I feel like I need or that I would actually reach for. And at this point, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I'd rather keep ones that I'm excited to use rather than just whatever. So was this month worth it? Uh, well, we're gonna say not really uh, because, oh, and this retails for $42, by the way. I am getting rid of over half of the full size items. So the palette I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna keep the hair masks, so that's not a product I would use. Shadow sticks are not products that I use. I already have the Ofra highlighter. It's beautiful, but I already have it, and I don't use brow products. So, you know, five out of the eight I'm not liking, but for the most part, I'm keeping the samples. So that's pretty good. The value on this box was $263.95. So let me know your thoughts on this. Um, you're gonna get all through November, just massive unboxings. I have Boxy Premium coming next month. There's only three of them because I canceled um, before the October box. Then I have like my regular Ipsy, Ipsy Plus, regular Boxy Charm. I'm gonna do a Tri Beauty, and I have a, like one that's coming up that's gonna be like Allure, Test 2 Beauty, and Pop Sugar all stuck together because I have just like one or two of those. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that I got on Ipsy Ultimate as a whole. Ipsy, also please let me know what your thoughts are about the merger with Ipsy and BoxyCharm, like taking over, Ipsy taking over BoxyCharm. That's very interesting. I wanna know your thoughts and opinions. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.